Marry Me is about a single father who gets dragged to a big pop show between Kat Valdez, the biggest pop star in the world, and her fiance, Bastion, the other biggest pop star in the world. And as she's about to rise on the lift, she discovers that he cheated on her with um, her assistant. And she has a little bit of a meltdown on stage. In the audience, you have Charlie, and he's listening to her. And he happens to be holding this sign that says, marry me. And she says, why not? I'll marry you. And he gets dragged up on stage, and they share this kiss. And it's improbable and it's impossible, but they have a connection. We really lucked out and got our dream cast. Um, and Owen and Jennifer together from the first moment just had this chemistry that was exciting and unexpected. And they're an unlikely couple, and yet they work really wonderfully. Um, and it was really important to me in, in casting Charlie that I had somebody who was really nice, but also had a sense of, of confidence and a sense of self that was very distinct. Because he's not in it for the fame, for the money, for the, you know, the beauty. He's in it because he sees something in her and he has a real genuine connection to her. And Owen has such a special, just unique, that's the only word I can use, unique way of being, where you, where you feel that he's very comfortable with who he is. Um, and that really becomes a big part of the story, is that he just loves her for her without any of the, any of the trappings. There's a level of fantasy to this movie, you know, of this normal everyman, Charlie Gilbert, being picked by this huge celebrity and kind of coming into this lavish world of excess and, and sparkles and beauty and wealth. Um, but there's also a peeling back of the curtain and, and seeing how hard this world can actually be and how lonely and how you can be surrounded by people and being kind of dragged along um, by other people's expectations of what they need from you and what they want from you. The only way this movie could work would be to have Jennifer as the lead because she understands this world, she knows how to perform, she knows what it's like to you know, perform at Madison Square Garden. Um, and so the casting of Bastion had to match. You couldn't just put an actor in who didn't understand that world. And Maluma brought this amazing nuance to this character because what he does, you know, cheating on his fiance is not nice, but he's not a villain in any way. He's a young man living the rock star life. And we, we were very informed by Maluma. You know, he, he kind of rolls with this big entourage. And I said to him, God, we have to have Bastion have that same entourage. And you'll see when he comes into a room, he comes in with a whole bunch of people. Um, and so again, we were just able to use the authenticity of these people. And they're not these characters. There are huge differences between JLo and Kat Valdez, between Maluma and Bastion. But you know, having the authenticity of these people who live this rarefied life that most of us don't understand was key to making the film work. There are a variety of original songs in the film. Um, Jennifer has a handful of songs, Maluma has a couple songs, and they were all crafted for the film. Um, and they fit thematically, they're ballads, there are big pop numbers. Um, it's really exciting. And I, you know, I think one of the things I discovered as I was making the film was I just wanted more music. Whenever we would film a sequence that was scripted as like, we see a little snippet of music, I was like, no, we need to see that song because watching her perform is, it's just so magnetic. And I think it's gonna really be what sets this film apart from every other rom-com ever made because it has these original songs. I'm excited for people to see this film on a number of levels. You know, the highly produced songs and then the tooling around on the piano and figuring out the words um, and then performing from the heart in a really simple and beautiful way. I think it's a breath of fresh air to have something that 
legitimately makes people smile and feel happy.